Rise and shine, everyone. Today is February 14th, 2022, and this is Breakfast Success Club. My name is Cynthia Leva, your dedicated job developer, and I want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. Here at Dress for Success Phoenix, we are happy to share all the love. So if you're looking for employment clothing or interview clothing, make sure you give us a call, 602-899-6567. So here at Dress for Success, we want to celebrate and share some of the love, but before I get into it, let me let you know what is going on across the valley with Dress for Success Phoenix. This week, Dress for Success Phoenix will be open Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and we will also be at Save the Family in the East Valley today from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you are out in the East Valley and you are needing an outfit for an interview, the Dress for Success mobile unit will be at Save the Family out in Mesa. They'll be out there from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So make sure you swing on by so you can get suited by one of our wonderful staffs out at Save the Family. I also want to let you know that this Wednesday, February 16th, Dress for Success Phoenix Career Center will be hosting a virtual hire fest with multiple employers joining us. Make sure you sign up, join us, and get ready to meet and to wow the employers so you can be considered for these amazing opportunities. I also want to invite you all to sign up for Amazon Smile, where a percentage of your purchases will be donated to your charity, of course, Dress for Success Phoenix. Make sure you sign up. There are no fees or extra charges. It's just something you add on to your Amazon cart when you do on when you go on checkout. As you all know, February is Black History Month, and here at Dress for Success, we want to celebrate the women who have innovated and who have made an impact in our history. Today, we are celebrating Oprah. Oprah has overcame adversity, abuse, and turmoil in her early years to be one of the wealthiest and well-known women, women in the nation and across the world. Oprah started off by being a talk show host. She also acted in The Color Purple and went on to own her show, start her own network, and to be an influential woman in our nation. That has also been coined as the Oprah Effect which means that Oprah's endorsements and recommendations affected consumers across the land. If Oprah recommended a book, you can be sure that it became a bestseller. If Oprah recommended a new device, another time it would become a bestseller. Oprah was innovative, Oprah was strong, she went at it, she put her all into everything she did, and it shows in her efforts and everything that she did. Oprah started her own magazine, O. She also uh, went on to begin an amazing leadership program in South Africa for young black women so that they can become leaders. It's, build the, it's her Build the Dream program. Oprah, thank you so much for setting an example to women all across the world what it means to overcome adversity and to be who you truly want to be and to influence those around you with positivity, happiness, and goals. Thank you. Now, as you all know, here at Dress for Success Phoenix, we are more than just an outfit. We're also about self-care, health, and wellness. So here is my health and wellness tip of the week and that is to set healthy boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries is not only for your personal life, but it's also for your professional life. That's for you speaking up and saying no when you really do wanna say no and not taking on too much than you can handle. It is okay, ladies, to say no and to put yourself in a position where you will be successful and not setting yourself up for failure. It's also important to set these boundaries in your personal life because at times we tend to transfer whatever's going on either in our professional life to our personal life or from our personal life into our professional world. So ladies, set those healthy boundaries, 
take good self care of yourself and make sure you keep on rocking. Betty the Mannequin, our resident diva, is ready to slay another work week in this wonderful outfit put together by our, by our retail manager, John. She is wearing some wonderful patent leather black loafers, a tan and white polka dot skinny leg trousers, a jean-like button-up blouse, a cropped white blazer, with the quarter length sleeve where she added a little flair by folding up the cuffs of her blouse. She tied this all together by wearing a black patent leather belt. She's also wearing a black patent leather satchel with a tan accent on her straps. And she brought this all together with a little bit of bling at the top with a chain link silver necklace. Slay on, Betty. This message goes out to job seekers and those on a hunch for their new career. All across the land and all across the U.S., employers are in need of new employees. So my tip for you all is to attend hiring events. Make sure you go to these job fairs. There's so many going on. Employers are eager to participate and to meet you. Go ahead and practice your 30 second elevator, elevator speech and get out there and meet these employers so that you can not only show them who you are, but you can see and investigate which is the career that you're gonna go for and that you will love. That is my career tip of the week. So as you all know, I like to round off our Breakfast Success Club with an affirmation to get you through another work week. This week's affirmation is each and every day, it becomes clearer and clearer about the boundaries I set that serve me best. Once more, each and every day, it becomes clearer and clearer about the boundaries that serve me best. Everyone, don't forget to set those boundaries, to live in positivity, to be happy, and to put your best foot forward. Thank you again for joining me for Breakfast Success Club. I look forward to seeing you again.